All right. Welcome back to Honey Coming Through the Years with Allison and Nathan. And today we're here to get the buzz on Ali O'Connor. <laughs> I guess, basic question to ask really quick, Ali, what cool. was the sort of inspiration behind this piece? Um, so creative writing to my sophomore year, I'm now a senior, um, Vana did a uh, um, magical realism, surrealism, and realism lesson. So we got to choose which one we wrote. And I was really inspired by the magical realism pieces we read. And so I wanted to do that. <laughs> so with the characters in your story, were any of them based off of anybody in real life? Um, not really. Um, so I struggle with like depression and that's like the point of the piece. And so sure, some of it, I guess, is like based on my experience, but none of the characters are particularly based off of anybody. So as you just mentioned how the story is about depression, do you feel like if more people wrote about it, the stigma of depression would go away a little bit more and that it being treated would work a lot better? Um, maybe. I mean, if some writers that are a lot better writers than I am that could like better get across like what exactly it feels like um people would maybe stop thinking it's like fake and that's actually like debilitating <laughs> sometimes so i do think it could help but then again it's like it's a hard mountain to climb mm -hmm. and so you had said that this is based on your personal experiences and is that shown like do you also have this sort of connection with like color and like color color coding and stuff like that or is this just kind of like a fun way to show it um i definitely do like color and um it kind of felt it's like i didn't write it with the color because of like a connection i i have to color it's just the color to me is like color draining from um her life was like my personality draining from me if that makes sense because yeah, I was does. going through a really rough time and I felt like I was no longer myself and so it's like a parallel there yeah wow That's great <laughs> <laughs> love the emoji contribution Nate Doc. of course of course so you mentioned Mr. Vaughn of Classroom and Creative Writing too. Uh, when did you first learn about the ECHA? Um, creative Writing one, my freshman year, I watched, I like binged watch Satirico because Such I was- Such a great show, by the way. I <laughs> <laughs> because I, um, Vana always talked about the ECHO, obviously in Creative Writing one. And so I like desperately wanted to be a part of that like pack of weirdos so badly. Really? And I applied my freshman year and I got rejected. <laughs> and then I applied again sophomore year and then I got accepted. So never give up. <laughs> so you've been in the Echo for three years, right? Two years. Sophomore I just told you I got rejected, Nate Dog. If you got in sophomore year, then that's sophomore year. I got year. in sophomore year for junior year. I'll go now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Don't anyway me, Allison. Oh, I was going to say anyway, like continue your question. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you My question it? or? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you did the signal and you started off with something and then you got distracted by... Your logic. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, there's a new segment <laughs> that we have been doing. Since no, the not the new segment. So no, no, we're doing it. So we'll do it again. I'm excited. Wait, hold on. There's a, this is really awkward right now. There's an ad playing at 15 seconds. The whole thing is awkward. The whole segment is awkward. Mom's awkward. <laughs> it's awkward not liking water. <laughs> Allie, is that glue? Can you guys hear it? <laughs> oh, 
All right, let's stop it there so we don't get copyrighted. Oh, okay. Alice was vibing. <laughs> or Allie was vibing. She was into it. This is confusing. There's two Allies here. It's not confusing. All right, back to the interview. The important part. Oh, okay. Yes. Good idea. Allison, you have um, something to say? Without doing the signal. So just go ahead. Just go ahead and do it. It's fine. What's with all the shade? <laughs> okay, well, shade? Okay. I'll show you so, shade. Allie. Okay. Question for you, Hush Nate Dog. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like just your teeth were showing. It's like that one. <laughs> it's like that one vibe where you're just like. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Um, <laughs> So, Ali, I have a question for you, not specifically in regards to this piece, but just in general as, like, a writer. Um, what sort of characters do you find yourself, like, basing a story off of? Like, what are your main characters kind of like, usually? Um, my main characters, it's so boring, but I don't <laughs> base them off of anybody. I kind of just start writing, and then they kind of grow their own personality. What's, like, their relationship to other people like how do they treat other people and then I'm like okay and then like I write it and then their personality just kind of comes through on its own cool so do you have a favorite profession that you like to write you know from a character I like writing about <laughs> women in power <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, um Yes, like queen. the character in like White Out, she was a CEO of like a fashion company, which I really liked. That's um, true. I read the the thing, so I would know that. Yeah, Writing I'm very sarcastic. I did read it. I, I I read it. Sure, you did. I did. Yeah. Okay. The piece is called White Out. The main person's name is Thea. You had to ask me what the piece was called. Well, I know it now. Because I told you. Okay. Anyway, back to the question. That's important. Okay. Go ahead. I meant like what Ali was saying. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say it's funny that I just said I like writing about women in power when, like, my latest writing Wednesday was literally a girl who had zero personality. <laughs> it shows the range. It shows your range. The range. Range queen. So have you pursued any, like, more, like, writings in, like, the fictional genre? Because I remember reading another one that you had a while back about where people get stabbed and stuff and ate brains. Oh, that was a cool one. I remember that one. Yeah. Um, I only write fiction. I find nonfiction very boring to write. How do you feel um, about so, flying chickens? And I'm terrible with flying poetry. chickens. There's nothing wrong with flying chickens. Sorry to. You're not you. terrible with poetry, Allie. We don't tolerate negative self-talk in the honeycomb interview forum. <laughs> I just realized I have the power to mute Alice. My gosh, weird. <laughs> I put anyway. glue on his lipstick earlier and now my lips are sticking to the <laughs> okay was that actually glue <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> okay I didn't know if it was like something disguised as glue because I saw him doing that I was like <laughs> I noticed but I was just like it's just Allie being... no Allie stop <laughs> Allie <laughs> stop using glue as lipstick <laughs> no wait Allie can you like check me out and look like, super like stuck there <laughs> This is the trick to get the interviewee to not talk. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> what do does it so mean to me? Yes, that is the question. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'll let you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> Can I be the host? I think we have an abuse of power on our hands. Oh, I'll stop. I'll stop. Anyway, go ahead, Alan. You know what the echo means to me, Nate Dog? Murder. <laughs> Murdering you. <laughs> That's so okay. sweet. Real answer. The echo to me means stunning and support because the echo has helped me through 
very hard times, especially last year. And then again, I have helped many Arconian through very rough times. And so it's just like, you know that you're gonna find support. Like I could message any Arconian, even ones that I don't talk to very often and they would automatically like be there to support me and help me, so. Aww. That and I've met all of my best friends in that day. Like literally all of them. I have uh, the one me outside the echo. So Yeah, but you're part of the echo still. So it's like uh uh-uh, I quit today. I'm done. Good riddance. I actually quit like a couple of months ago. It's just oh. like nobody knew, so I just That's stayed. so awkward because like I quit. <laughs> I didn't actually quit. <laughs> I never stopped. Um, so I guess another question could be like, what's your favorite part of being in the Echo and being like one of the cool people in the Echo? Being one of the cool <laughs> people in the Echo. <laughs> like, I think like you have like an official. Well, it's chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in my brain. It's like do 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 a da da da. Please leave that in. <laughs> 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 it just had the entire interview to be Ali scatting. Um, well, it's like I am the content manager. So yeah. pretty much I just am the person who runs the slushy spread. And <laughs> I kept being like, I'll send acceptance and rejection letters later. And I said that until I had about 150 to send. <laughs> so, I mean, chaos. No, we're all procrastinators here. Like, we're oh. literally doing this video at like, the we're, last possible moment. <laughs> like, do so, yeah, so. Yeah. Great job, everyone. We did it. Mm-hmm. Wait, if we are going to celebrate, we got to celebrate. Oh my God, wait, okay. I'm sorry, I got scared. I thought you weren't recording for a moment. Okay. Am I not recording? Oh, that would be. No, bad. you are. You are. I, I like forgot that the creepy Siri voice happened. And then. Let's do it again. Or eat bananas, something like that. So, what is your um, advice? My advice is it's all in your brain and your thought processes. If you think negative things, you'll feel negative things. If you think is this a dig at me? It's at you and the entire world out there. Not like everything's you. about you, Nate Dog. Well, she's Everybody needs exact to hear this. Before, so. You're, Good advice, Ali. Good advice. You control yourself. Period. All right. Outro time. I have an idea for the outro. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope I get to interview. I get to edit. Have we exceeded the time limit? Thank you for tuning in to Honey Coming Through the Years with Allison and Nathan. Where we got the buzz on Allison O'Connor. Who is bobbing up and down. The resident <laughs> crackhead. This is our final interview of the entire oh, year. Oh, that's sad. So we will not see you next time. But maybe in the Don't future. Say that. Maybe in the future, I might get an interview. That would be pretty dope. In the meantime, I'm going to head out. Wow, dramatic exit.